Oh, hi. Me again. Uh, still doing Road to Joe Fest. Tonight I got two guests. Uh, last night I had Tony Roberts from Analog Toys, which was, uh, it was busy. It was pretty crazy. And uh, tonight I have Matthew LaCroix and Mikey Kukovic. Um, awesome designers, sculptors, paint masters, customizers, the works. And um, uh, for the first time, uh, I'm missing a guest. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring on Mikey, and we're uh, hanging out waiting for um, old LaCroix to figure stuff out. So uh, what's up, brother? What's going on, man? <laughs> Not much. How are you? Not too bad. This is a, this is an interesting turn we've had here. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of, I don't know. You know, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know how many live. people are going to stay if Matt's not going to show up. I mean, it, it's live TV. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but uh, hey, so far we got uh, Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. We got uh, Skyfall and we got uh, Jeff Reed. And then uh, a couple more are popping in. But uh, thanks to everybody who's already here. And we're just waiting on old LaCroix to figure it out. So um, we'll just see what happens. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we can phone a friend or something. <laughs> So what's going on? What's new? Not much, man. Um, not a whole lot. I would think the freshest thing for me is working on these uh, these paint masters for Longbow. Yeah. That is... Yeah, we were talking about that. How's that going? Yeah. It's going good. It's going good. I I have never spent so much money on paint, but it's gotta it's gotta be the color. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How is that? Uh, oh, and uh, look, check it out. So uh, what's up, Tony? Tony from Analog Toys is here. Thanks for being here. Right and uh, Samuel Ed Edwards just showed up. So thanks for being here, Samuel. Very cool. So how is it working on, on Longbow? You're working on that with your dad, right? Yeah. Um, my my dad, John Kukovic, uh, as, well, as well as Troy. Um, yeah. Working, working with those two guys. Um, last Joe Fest, you know, we had that Spetsnaz Trooper. Um, that yeah. was kind of my... Um, um my attempt into getting a little more serious with the with the craft um it went over well so now it's now it's up to me to do the rest of them how's the uh how's the soviet ninja coming along i can't talk can i ask this stuff <laughs> can i ask this I, I, I i don't have the answers for it i just they send me stuff and they're like hey paint this guy <laughs> just just shut up and paint man <laughs> yeah don't let us down okay <laughs> Sit in your corner and paint. Yeah, very cool. Right. <laughs> uh, James from Ratface44 Reviews is here. What's up, dude? And uh, Samuel says, uh, great show last night. I appreciate that. Uh, Jeff said, clearly you don't play Warhammer. My paint budget is incredibly high. Do you play Warhammer? Do you paint Warhammer? I do not. Neither. I do not. Neither. I have, and, uh, I have some friends that are very, very into it. Um, I, got, I got enough vices as it is. Yeah. <laughs> james anyway so there it is and uh photo vipers here what's up dude very cool and uh we're still waiting on Lacroix to figure it out so uh i got my facebook messenger chat open and i'm being assertive we're gonna say assertive i'm, I'm being assertive mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah anyway so um whatever there's a first time for everything right that's right that's right so you and I actually go way back, and I think what a lot of people don't know is that before I started doing all this crazy crap, um, I, I was mostly known for customs, and most of my customizing experience comes from you and LaCroix, because I used to pick your guys' brains all the time, like, you know, hey, like, how would you do this and how do you do that and all that stuff? And so, like, a, a lot of the skills that I learned as a customizer, I, I have you guys to thank for that. So, all right, on. Okay. Yeah. I remember you, you messaging me every once in a while. You'd be like, hey, how would you do this? What kind of parts would you use for this? Like, when you were working on your losers, I remember that conversation for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Did yeah, you ever finish the... that? Mm -mm. No, I, 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 still in the books. <laughs> I know the the losers. So the, if anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, the movie, the losers um, with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and uh, Idris Elba. So I was working on that team from the losers and I got so far with it. And then I just kind of put it on pause because, you know, things just get busy. But um, my mega force vehicles are coming along. Those are coming <laughs> along. You know what I'm waiting for? If uh, LaCroix was here, I would have him chime in on that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, eventually I'm waiting. 
yeah, yeah, he'll 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 probably show up. I don't know. He's, I likes to make but... an intro. What can you say? Oh, look, who's that? Uh, its name sounds slightly familiar. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that uh, name's pretty familiar. <laughs> the sir, what's up, good sir? Yeah, very cool. Um, yeah. So the the losers team only got so far. I started working on my Mega Force vehicles. I have the Mega Destroyer and the Delta Mark IV done. The TACCOM is sitting in that box right there waiting to get done. And um, once the move um, happened, I, I kind of put everything on pause. I had the, the Delta Mark IV was already so far in the process. And so I just kind of put it in bubble wrap and came over here and just spilled it out and just finished it. But Sure. But uh, yeah, my customizing kind of moved away from figures to mostly vehicles. Yeah, you like started I, you started pumping out vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you? Um, I, I'm sure you did, but you saw that that four inch scale mask rhino I did, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was that's, like that's top. That was <laughs> that was like my pinnacle, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> nowhere to go but down now you know yeah that that's it yeah just <laughs> in the dumps that's all we're gonna do so cool let's um let's take a look at some stuff so no i like Jill stuff. fest you obviously like stuff? yeah i like stuff do you like stuff um oh, i'm gonna stuff. make that shirt i'm gonna make that do you like stuff shirt that's i coming. hope you do i'm gonna um I mean, you just put it on t public and you know let it let it ride yeah 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 so i'll uh i'll i'll work on that and then real quick um Jeff Reed says he loves the losers. Great action comedy. Yeah, it's a great movie. And then, uh, yeah. right. Speaking of mega force, good guys always win, even in the eighties. And then, uh, Jeff Morris is here. What's up, dude? So, cool. Oh, Oh, look it. <laughs> yes. <What> is... <laughs> no? The palm of the master. Oh, there what's up, is. Santa Claus? <laughs> <Where you Yeah. laughs> dude? Guys, wow, this technology thing, man. What's going on here? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, guys. How you been? Doing good. Doing good. It's good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, you too. You look fantastic. <laughs> mm, very distinguished. I'm just like glad it. to be here, fellas. I, you know, I was really worried for a second there. Wow. No, no, we're we're totally glad you're here. I, I was I never worried. Just, out. just for the record, I was never worried. <laughs> yeah, we, Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. We had faith. Uh for the record, anybody who's hanging out with us tonight. So uh Mikey and I were waiting on on, on old LaCroix here and, and he kept popping up with devices not connected, but um he could still hear us. <laughs> we, yeah. We were, and... we were saying some hilarious things. All out of love though. All out of love. Hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. So what's going on? You've been busy too. What have you been up to? Man, I've been really busy. Uh just uh just painting, man. You know, just trying to do my thing. Uh yeah. working on several different lines, helping people out. Uh just you know, I love to stay busy, so mm -hmm. I haven't gone insane yet. So we'll see how long that lasts. You know? No. So before you popped in, I was I was kind of just going over the history of the relationship that the three of us have because yeah. uh, I, I know a lot of people hanging out with us in the chat don't really know that um, I I originally built a relationship with the two of you guys because I was learning how to customize and you guys really helped me with my skills as a customizer. So, yeah, and then uh, we all got to hang out at Joe Fest last year, so I figured uh, we'll do a stream together because we'll all be there again this year. Heck yeah. Oh, you'll actually be able to hang out this year, too. Who, Matthew or me? You. Matt was there the whole time. <laughs> I was he, he was a Cobra officer for a while, wasn't he? That's yeah. True. He I was, was, he yeah. was uh, incognito. Yeah. As, as going, not yeah, many chads would do, he was hidden from the public. Yeah, man. And, you know, I wanna, yeah. he's really lucky to score a Baroness, too, I guess, you know. so mm, There's only one I Baroness. Have... There's a thousand Cobra troopers. Right, I have my baroness, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. For a chat, I'm pretty low key, which is weird. I don't know why, but <laughs> pretty low key, dude. So, uh, gentlemen, let's uh, let's talk about Joe Fest, shall we? Let's do it. 
Yeah, let's do it. So we all got to hang out last year and uh, obviously ride Joe fast. So I, I kind of keep certain stuff same, same in, uh, in the slides and whatnot. But uh, mm. Matthew. Yes. Let's talk about this guy. Okay. <laughs> so for anybody who doesn't know who's hanging out with us, tell us the story of this guy. Oh, wow. Uh, this one has quite the rich history, I guess you could say. Um, this was originally done, I want to say, 2018 or 19 with uh, a buddy of mine, Jason Lucky. We had uh, we had this idea. We wanted to do like a limited run, you know. So mm-hmm. we did 50 of them. Um, we had actually gotten my buddy – Dennis Carborough from uh, level seven to cast all the parts for us. So the, the thing's 100% fully cast. Um, and then he sent me the parts. I painted them up like I had a little, little sweatshop going on. So uh, <laughs> then we released it. I think we released it on Halloween of that year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Halloween, but it, either way, um, it's an interesting character. I, I still, I still really like this. Uh, this was a fun project, and uh, people still ask me for one today. And you know, unfortunately, I don't have them anymore. It's a limited run. Yeah. You know? But uh, th- this thing has kind of become a, a cult classic phenomenon, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say. I mean, kind of, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's a super awesome figure, and. Um, yeah. Awesome. Moving on. So, uh, Mikey, hey, talk to me about these guys. So what was this project? Um, that was just the trying to finish out that, um, that class of GI Joe. And then once I did, I had that tank sitting around. Um, I love that tank. I, I do too. I do too. Yeah. I don't have much space. To, I might get rid of mine just, just for space sake, you know? But that's that's the up. one when you when you open the turret, it gives off the crew fire commands, right? Um, no, that one doesn't have any any sound or anything on it. No, I, I have the model of that, but you can take the turret and you can kind of separate it forward and backwards. Oh, interesting. and you can you can put like the loader and the gunner down inside the tank. And when you open it, you know, he goes target six o'clock, 500 meters. And then blah, 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 it makes all this noise and then you close it. That's pretty cool. Mine does not have that play feature. Okay, well, yours is still cool. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I like it. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just uh, I tried to find some kind of cool backdrop to put on my monitor, and then just yeah. just did a did a class photo. Those fighters are on your monitor. Yeah, that's my computer monitor behind it. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that's that's awesome. Like like who would think of that? That's so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, Same with the really the. Cool. The, the next class where I did them on the in front of the F the uh, F fourteen, that was computer to monitor too. Really, I just thought you know, yeah, that would be that would be cool, like the on the deck of the flag or something. But yeah, that's what this one was. I think the last one to finish was Steeler out of that one. Mikey, how long did it take you to complete this set here? Um, well, General Hawk was one of the absolute very first ones that I started, so like two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a Marauder's head on that hawk, correct? Yep. Yeah. Man, I I, I love their parts. I love oh, their yeah. parts. I talked to John about getting them on. So we'll that would we'll be see. Very that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And then uh Danjamin's here. So what's up, Balake? Very cool. And um give me one second. I'll give him a few. Where'd he go? <laughs> roll over here. I said, just give me a second. So, um, Mr. LaCroix. Yes, sir. I want to talk about, let me, uh, let me, let me make myself big for a second so you can see it. There you are. I want to, I want to talk about what's going to go with this. <laughs> Mega Force, baby. Ace mm-hmm. Hunter. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's his official name in the line but yeah man oh i love the eagle Force let's guys. let's talk about this man. oh yeah so these what are... can you tell us about these so this is this is eagle force from fresh monkey fiction and uh mr Lacroix here is responsible for this so why don't you uh go ahead and tell us what you can about this anything that's you know not 
surprised. You probably know just about as much as I do about him. I mean, really, um, I just basically get the, uh, you know, Bill from Fresh Monkey sends me the, uh, what do you call them, test shots. Yep. And I just paint them up to his requirements, however he wants me to. He'll give me like a call out sheet. He'll tell me, oh, man, that sucks. You know, do it again. <laughs> No, not really. I hope not. No, nobody's <laughs> ever told Matt that. Not once. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, mean, I, get, I have to do revisions, man. If the eyes are not just right or something, you know, you got to get it right. But uh, I love these. I love this line. This uh, I've done a few of them. I've got a couple sitting right in front of me here. Um, but I can show you guys that later. But, yeah, I'm very excited about Ace Hunter and uh, – it's going to be cool. It's going to look great on that bike you got, dude. I mean, I ordered every single version of the not Mega Force figures. Every single one. I pre ordered all of them. Mm -hmm. Did you work on the, uh, the Monster Force figures? Are you talking about the six inch scale stuff, the larger stuff? That... No, the, the four inch ones that are not Red Shadows. Yeah, I did a few of those. I did the Werewolf. Um, I did a few, and that was split up. Uh, I don't know if you know Chris Scott, a good good guy. He does a lot of these too. We'll probably see him at Joe Fest too. Cool. But I think I I think it's just I don't know if Bill has another guy painting these, but I know it's me and Chris Scott that do them. If I'm not doing them, he's doing them, and he does phenomenal work as well. Yeah. There's one that's like the. I want to say it's like the creature from the Black Lagoon kind of looking one, you know. Yep, he did yeah. that one, and I, I just love doing the werewolf ones. Those were fun. Those were really neat. Yeah, but yeah, t yeah. yeah. TJC, you're absolutely right. I know that Gaz is waiting on these figures too. So, um, our our buddy Gaz, he is more right. of a Mega Force super fan than I am. So, oh wow. Dang, I didn't think there was a, a larger Mega Force fan than you. Right, I was gonna say because my Mega Force fandom is legendary, but yeah, Gaz legendary. is like the Meg, the Mega Force guy. But you ever seen that YouTube video on uh, where it's like the scene from him on the bike, you know, and it's flying through the air and he he spins upside down and it's playing like this rock song with it. It's really awesome. Uh -oh, I'll have I to check that out. The link on that. Cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, yeah, so anyway, here's here's another shot of uh, your figure, and that is uh, Barry Bostwick as uh, Commander Ace Hunter. Yep. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is the bike that you that custom that you made? It, I couldn't tell from the image, but is it gold or is it like a tan, like a desert? Tan? It's it's so they're supposed to be tan. The only thing yeah. that it's missing is it's missing the the bolts. And I'm getting the bolts from uh, Adam from Go Figure. Okay. He, yeah. he actually, um, he, he cut the, the bolt decals for it. That's but you can see, like, I even have, like, all the rivets oh, yeah, yeah. done up. and Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's all that, weathered up and ready to go. Look at the antenna is a freaking safety pin, dude. That's <laughs> sick, like, man. Yeah. But, you know, again, a lot of my skills that I learned customizing, I learned from you two. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Um, Pendragon's in the house, and uh, Pendragon's the guy who designs all my logos and did my intros and all that stuff. So he's a he's a real cool guy. He's also the guy um, he designed Cadaver for Operation Recall. Yeah, I, yeah. I know that you guys are familiar with Operation oh, yeah. Recall. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, and then he's he's doing his own line that Easy Kill Nine. So I'm waiting on those to come. Mm -hmm. out. Oh yeah, you guys know about Easy Kill Nine, and then yeah. uh, Samuel's. Asking if these are going to be available at Joe Fest, but they're not, right? They're still pre-order. Correct? Yeah, these are these are pre-ordered. I don't think they'll be out yet. No. Yeah. Yet. Samuel, you can go to Big Bad Toy Store and order these figures, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So those those waves you can go order them. And then uh Pericles is in the house. He said, What's up? And um Payne's toy samples as well. So very cool. Cool. Awesome. We're getting uh, we're getting some more people that are moseying in to hang out with you nice. yeah 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 so yeah i'm just waiting on the bolts for that vehicle and i have the mega destroyer done uh the TACCOM, like i was telling mikey it's up there in a box cool that, that's their weird little uh, 
their command and control van? So now that you're going to have your vehicles for Megaforce, the Ace Hunter, are, are you, have you thought about like the other members as well? Like how you're going to build them and stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, uh, cool. Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is Dallas. on the books. Uh, six killers on the books. Yeah, because yeah. most of them are just. So there's there's two different uniforms in Megaforce. The the guys who drive the Mega Destroyers and the Tatcom they wear a silver jumpsuit. It's okay. only the guys on the Delta Mark IVs that wear the gold. Ah. So yeah, so it's it's a little bit of give and take, but um, six killer Dallas um ace hunter and a couple others they they were the gold and it's really just their their home nation flag that's the mm -hmm. difference and i can just water slide the flag yeah so, i didn't notice I'm on, those i'm on it really cool yeah. i'm on it buddy yeah it's, it's an international force you know like yeah yeah and and that's why i always said that you know mega force is uh my favorite not gi joe gi joe movie exactly it, it, it really is and then uh pendragon says chad always thinks before he builds Sometimes I do. Um, Backwoods is here. He says, what's up, Chad, and the other two guys? Sorry, I don't know your name. It's Matthew uh, LaCroix and Mikey Kukovic. Hi. Nice to meet do you. I, do I not have your guys' you names well. up? Oh, it's because we have the we have the comment up. Hold on. Let me, um, boop, let me get rid of that. Sorry, give me one sec. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm new at this. <laughs> hey, look at that. There we go. There you go. Sorry. That guy's. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. It's Chad, Mikey. Yeah, hey, what's up? How are oh you? Oh my gosh, you it's guys nice. are here too. I'm, it's nice to meet you guys. Dude, I was panicking. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, man. Like trying to get in here. Like I have my wife, like I'm doing it on my phone, you know. I'm not yeah. a tech I'm not a tech guy whatsoever, but mm -hmm. thanks for letting me hang with you. Oh, thank you for being here. You you guys are the best. I mean, we you know we've all known each other for a while, and I, I think you guys are fantastic. So, it it was it was something I really wanted to do was hang out with you guys in the stream, and uh, I I know that I had to get one of you on board so I could pressure the other one, and I was like, no, this one says he's in, so yeah. you got to do it. Yeah, I liked your story about that. That was that was nice. Yeah. I'm sure you told Mikey the same thing you told me, you know, and like baited us and stuff. That was yeah, he was like, if you don't come on, you're going to look like the a-hole. And I was like, not on my watch, pal. <laughs> <All right. laughs> like, you guys better figure it out. Yeah. yeah and then Pericles says, uh, uh, without the captions, I wouldn't have known who was which. Well, I figured it out, man. It's cool. We're good. Yeah. I'm, I'm the Grizzly Adams guy. And, uh... <laughs> yeah yeah you're santa claus and then there's mikey santa claus, yep. Mike, and there's mike mikey super lovable and uh so tjc wants to know do you guys like stuff do you like stuff i like stuff oh, i love stuff i like i like stuff yeah good stuff um samuel i got the megaforce dvd yeah, while dude. watching one of chad's shows yeah buddy you were a warrior it's, it's right, right over there right, right right over there right over there all right cool so let's um let's get back to some of this and um mm. oh, Mikey, yeah. i want to talk about this dude i'm talking about flash I, we can talk about Flash. i really want to talk about your version of your modern okay. version of og 13 flash so flash was my very first joe um i i took him off the peg in 1982 and that was it you know, I was a GI Joe guy from then on. And so when I saw your build of flash, man, I, I had to put all the photos in here because this thing is just ridiculous. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'll start here. Do you want to, oh, you meant all the walk photos. Us... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to kind of walk <laughs> right us on, through this? Right on. No, no, I, absolutely. I have, I have a, a Excel spreadsheet of recipes. I have no problem people knowing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about it. Um, okay. So, I've always liked Flash, but you know, since <clears throat> since I was born in 1990, I didn't get Flash. Uh, but Flash is Flash is one of my dad's absolute favorite characters. It wasn't his first because that was Breaker, but Flash is his other. Breaker was OG. a lot of people's first for some reason. It, I don't know. He came with he came with stuff, and people like no. Stuff. Yeah, I like stuff, but I like I like stuff with weapons. <laughs> I do like so. weapons. I do like weapons. Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, um, so I I have 
I spent a great deal of time trying to figure out what a good recipe for Flash was. It was like you could use what they used, but I don't like the 25th anniversary stuff very much because it's so thin. And I was like, yeah. if he's wearing some sort of protective armor, he should probably be a, a little bulky. Um, and then one day I just kind of had some, There, were, I looked down and there were some parts close together and I thought, oh, well, that could work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I oh. thought that that helmet came from um, uh, John that does the uh, chicken fried toy stuff. You know, he gotcha. has his cast, his cast set Joe fest. And, um, I, yeah, I have no problem, you know, going over there and looking through his stuff so mm -hmm. I can have more stuff. And he had this we helmet like stuff. and I, we love stuff. Yes, we do. Um, and I saw this helmet and I was like, that, that is going to be used for something cool. So I got two. <laughs> I think his, his goes for his kit for, to make a fast draw, I believe. Um, and it's the it, the helm the head came from um, I think a version of the the movie Vulture from the Spider Man movie is I actually where that, it came yeah. from. I could see that. Um, so I had I had it. So I'm looking through my my tackle box of helmets, and I'm like I'm like ah, I don't know this isn't looking right. And then I see that red one. I'm like oh I think I found it. And then just pieced her together. Yep. Thank and then, you. Um, what did you, did you sculpt anything on that on that far right? Picture? I did not sculpt anything on Flash. You just uh, primed it. Is that what it is? Um, it yeah, yeah. The 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 white primer was because I was using a, a different kind of paint and it was going to be a, a bright color, so I wanted a bright white which uh, is, backdrop. Which is that? Yeah, it's 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 Chevy Chevy engine orange is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to dull coat it because it's a gloss color, but and then the chrome on top of it to pipe it out a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. it's one of my favorites. I was gonna ask about that chrome visor. That thing was sweet. Dude, that's the um the, the Motlow? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the Good that's stuff. the ticket. Yep. I got Thick uh layers I got, and let I got it a even bunch of those out. sitting back there. Yeah. yeah. They're great. They are so great. You know what I found works? And this is just what works for me, right? Because um, as the three of us have, have talked numerous times and, and other uh, customizers and, and things like that, what works for one of us doesn't always work for all of us. And we can find new ways to do things. Sure. I take chrome spray paint. I spray it into a paper bowl and then I brush it on. And hey, it's... Man. I have done a similar thing, but with um, Perfect. automotive uh, touch-up paint markers because they're they're usually an enamel. So I just push the pin a couple of times into something. Yeah, and, and it I, that was how I did it the first way. Yeah, but once I found those Malatov pins, I didn't look back. Yeah, those those chrome pens are ridiculous. But mm -hmm. I I just I always um, when I weather like the corners of vehicles when I beat them up to take the paint off and just show that like that that metal sheen underneath. That's mm -hmm. what I do. I just little chrome spray paint. And then I just take a flat brush and just dip, 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 dip. Yep. And I just do the same like thing that. for weathering. Yeah. Not I don't even bother with a knife to give it a little physical and then something to catch the dry brush and yeah. weather away. Yeah. I'll take like a, like a 80 grit sandpaper. And just, just smack it. I'll just smack it like that. But I don't mind yeah. just dropping stuff on the concrete and giving it real world effects. <laughs> Depends. Um, you know that uh, that mask rhino I made. I couldn't drop that thing on a concrete because no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah, but, but like a his tank shell, I'll skip one of those across the floor. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, real quick, uh, all the way from the UK, George Aikens here. So thanks hey. for being here, George. How he about sent that me box from him. Holy lord! I know that box of stuff he sent me. Are you just missing ridiculous. a red wolf now, for Pete's sake. I have a red wolf. You do. Well, that's yeah, pretty much there. stopped because that guy he's in my robo skull right there. Yeah. And yeah, he's chilling in my robo skull. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Um, and then Pericles says, for some reason, thanks to Chad, I've got the different strokes theme playing in my what were you guys talking about before we got on here? Beats me. You were here with me the whole time, man. <laughs> you had a whole day. I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> uh I wasn't talking about different strokes, so I don't know. That's cool, but um Oh, and then George Aiken says, next time, Q-Force. Oh, Q -Force. sweet. Q-Force is good stuff. Cool. All right, so uh, we're going to move on from your superb custom flash, oh, which 
dude i i love that guy but yeah there it is the, awesome. the bright I enjoy that one greatly <laughs> yeah. yeah that is a great great figure and um mm. mr lacroix oh yeah mm -hmm. what do you got for these guys those again are some paint masters that i did um yeah i mean pretty self-explanatory uh he did give me a little creative liberties with the, I guess he's called Agent Grimm, the the one that looks like Wick. He yeah. was like, uh, Bill told me I could have a little liberty with the camo. So I did like an urban camo. Nice and, uh, you know, I actually got, they sent, you know, when I do one, they send me a comp figure, like the one that they produce in China or whatever. So. That I got, guy? got my yeah. comp version here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Love that guy. Super. He is such. Yeah, I'm gonna. If anyone's not seen this this figure, this is Eagle Force from Fresh Monkey Fiction, and uh, Matthew Lacroix painted him. But that guy is so cool. Like he is such a great figure, man. Yeah. Just the the detailing on him on his body armor and everything is amazing. Yeah. That was a little bit of dry brushing to get that a uh, metallic weathering look as well yeah. yeah yeah and uh you know like you and i have known each other for a while and when i was building the slides to do this and like you just sent me that vomitorium of photos and i told mikey i was like dude i need a lot of i need a lot of photos because because matthew's bombing me <laughs> but well, the like funny go ahead uh, i just wanted to make sure we had all our bases covered you know oh yeah yeah but here's here's the funny thing right so I have him, I have a bunch of the other Fresh Monkey Fiction, Eagle Force guys down here, but hanging out on the deck of my flag, I didn't know you did that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't know you did him and, until I was putting this together, and I'm like, man, I got all these figures. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, is his name Riptide? Is it Riptide or or something like topside. that? Topside. Topside. Well, no, I mean they give them a different name, you know, for the for the line. I don't think they could officially call them Topside or it's uh, Topside. It's topside. It topside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I was getting confused with uh, what was the one he was? Uh, God, brain fart. Um, what's the character from Hasbro that kind of resembled this? Topside. Top side. <laughs> they, With the rope that, I think they yeah. lost the uh the, the copyright. Oh, okay. So they okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's just like um they they lost the trademark for Flash, so they had to call him Sergeant Flash and uh Skyfall's asking Cutter, but no, they, they had they had a Joe named Topside. But yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh real quick, uh my Canadian brother, Mr. Jay Bartlett's in the house. So that's awesome. I always love when Jay's here. Howdy, cool. howdy. And um, Pendragon's asking, are these Eagle Force? Yeah, man. So these yes, are sir. the fre these are the Fresh Monkey Fiction Eagle Force figures. These are the, the the figures I always talk about when I say, like, these are the ones that scratch my four-inch itch because Hasbro won't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And uh, I got you guys to thank for all that. Are Eagle Force doing red shadows? No. <laughs> but kind of <laughs> good answer right? yeah. so there's a there's a wave of eagle force figures coming out and they're they're called monster force but it's it's not the larger ones it's the four inch ones and it's like a, a werewolf a creature from the black lagoon so they're all like um almost like universal monster creatures but each figure's alternate head is another Buck's Red Shadow's head. So, like, the werewolf's head, his alternate head would be the Red Shadow's head for this figure. And this figure's alternate head is the Black Major head for this figure. And the, the way they did that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. I freaking loved how they did that. That's brilliant the way they arranged that. Yeah. Sure. Very clever. But anyway, yeah, so these are these are some of your uh, paint masters for Eagle Force. Mm -hmm. Which are yeah. which are truly awesome figures. And um Mikey, let's talk about oh well there's there's a couple more of yours right there. There's a couple more, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. I have the I have the Navy T-shirt guide down here on this shelf. I haven't opened him yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, real cool. And um, so fun, fun times right there. Sure. Pendragon saying Easy Kill Nine Paintmaster Four Inch Prototypes will be at the Eagle Force booth this year at Joe Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Might have a little something to do with that too. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit. What do we got here, Mikey? Mikey, what's what's this guy? Ultimate Firefly? That's Firefly, man. Of course it's Firefly. <laughs> Talk to us about this guy. Um, so this figure has been built for about a year, and I've just <laughs> been neglecting to paint him. And then once you told me uh Matt had uploaded 300 pictures, I was like, <laughs> oh no. I need to get to work. So I, started, <laughs> so I started jamming out this week and Firefly got finished. So thanks. Thanks, Matthew. I appreciate it. You're like it. sitting there under the magnifier working on his backpack like, damn it, Matthew. <laughs> I like to inspire, Mikey, and you did an outstanding job, young man. Thank you. Thank that's you awesome. very much. Yeah, I, even, I even hand-stitched the harness. I paid attention <laughs> here, okay? Dude, mm-hmm. I see it now. What'd you make him out of? A bunch of greebling? Um, well, the, uh, the, the torso and the arms are 50th Firefly. Um, the legs, Which is the an amazing leg. Firefly. Fantastic. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Really good. True true to its to its core, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, the upper legs are Renegade's Tunnel Rat with some goodies added in there. Um, and then mm-hmm. the bottom legs were, I think... Um, one of the one of the it's the same legs I used for Flash actually. I don't know. Hasbro pumped out a bunch of figures with those legs. I don't remember what line they were originally from. Yeah, like a like a waiter bootstrap kind of thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then just uh added added some gear and uh you know, a couple extra a couple extra grenades, some smoke grenades. What's the head? Um that is the Retaliation Cobra Trooper, the the blue one that came with the big parachute. Mm-hmm. So he had to already find... had goggles. I was thinking yeah, those yeah. Were removable goggles. No, um, that's that's part yeah. of the mold. Nice, yeah. I like that head a lot. It's really... Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, that head looks really it good. Just, it's, that because... whole figure has really useful parts. They just mm-hmm. kind of yeah. cut its cut its the articulation a down and kind of out of it for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a damn good looking figure, my friend. Yes, sir. And um, Zazel from Sergeant Slaughter Slaughterhouse, thank you very much, kind sir. Sends a five dollar super chat and says, "Do not forget to hit the like button." Uh, the three of us would appreciate it, as would the YouTube algorithm that hates people because it's a machine and machines mm-hmm. hate people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mikey, or I'm sorry, Matthew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now we're looking at Operation Recall. You want to oh, talk yeah. to us about? about Rotello here? Oh, wow. Yeah, this was a fun one because the the thing is like six and a half inches tall, okay? Yeah, the two up. Right? It's like a two up, yeah. It's mm-hmm. like doing it the way the old masters did. Of course, right. Bill Merklein sculpted it, yeah. which, you know, he's responsible for like over 70 of the A-Ross sculpts, some of the most iconic characters Bill sculpted. Yeah. Yeah. So was, this right here is a dream come true just to – even be able to hold that in my hands and, and, you know, you know, let alone paint it, you know, I was, it's, some of it's still surreal to me, but anyway, Carson, you know, this project Carson's got going on is amazing. This mm-hmm. uh, Rotella character is also going to get like a night force treatment. I've got that here at the house too, that I'm going to work on. Nice. Cause I ordered that sucker too. Very Dude, cool. this, this guy's tough, man. Uh, I love it. I mean, his his little Homer the the animal Pigeon. companion, yeah, that thing is so pigeon. cool. You know, it straps onto his you know his pack and everything. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's gonna look good with a Mike cool. Tyson in a tracksuit for sure. Absolutely, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is R.I.P. Norm. R.I.P. Of course, I didn't have any kind of rivets for this beast, you know. So I, I found something from Home Depot that would substitute for it so I could send it to Carson all finished and everything. But You had to build it? Well, he sent me the parts. The parts were uh, resin casts of the 
sculpt that Bill had done. It wasn't the original, you know. He'd made gotcha. several copies of it. But yeah, it's it's just like a classic A Raw figure from the eighties. Um, but yeah, I put it I paint it made it easier for me to paint when it was not assembled, you know. So once it was done, I, I found these fasteners of some kind for the shoulder and the elbow. Just to present it yeah. to uh Carson and everything. So some assembly required. Some assembly required for sure. Very, very cool. And uh, Pendragon also says, uh, hey, Matthew, Bill is sculpting my cadaver figure for um, Operation Recall right now. Will you be painting it? I I would think so. I mean, C Carson and I have talked a lot, and he says I'm like his guy that he you know, wants to use uh, for paint master. So I hope so. Yeah, definitely okay. want to. Um, of course, I'm always open to other talented artists helping out as well. You know, like Mikey. Mikey could step into the ring and, you know, help me out with these. But, uh, you know, I know he's got his hands full anyway. You know. More than happy to help. Yeah. <laughs> it, this is a great community, you know, the way we uh, just all come together to make, you know, when Hasbro's not going to obviously do anything. So we have to step up. Exactly. And you know what? Question, I think I am painting that one. I'm probably going to clip that shit and save it for later. <laughs> I'm probably going to do that. I, I got to say, though, you know, the fact that the three of us are friends and I have stuff in my collection from you guys, um, you know, to, to one degree or another, I, I appreciate that. Like to me, that, that means something to me. So I, I really like it. Yeah. And um, we'll bond. Yeah. We're we're bonding. Yeah. I'm like, hey, sure, Miss Mikey. Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we Mikey and I both. I'm sure he feels the same way. We're honored that folks want stuff of ours in our in their collections. You know, I mean, yeah, most yeah. definitely. Great. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It's kind of surreal, honestly. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. I think it's I think it's uh, it's awesome and it's well deserved. You guys are masters of what you do. Oh, speaking of which, look here comes the ma'am. Speaking of masters, I'm here to talk about Masters of the Universe. Am I on the right Ayo. channel? Oh, sure. Why not? <laughs> you said sure that, that's yeah. for the fans to decide. I don't have any say in that. <laughs> was that fairness? Yeah, that was the ma'am right there because uh, I was actually just going to say, and oh, look, here's the ma'am in the chat. And then she ran in the room. So, uh, so anyway, uh, it's always fun. And then Zazel said that, uh, Matthew, you painted up an epic G.I. Joe Hulk Hogan and uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper for him. Yeah, brother. I sure did. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Man, those are fun. I love doing the wrestling customs, too. Those are fun, for sure. Yeah. I'm I'm glad get excited you about the, the Macho Hopefully. Man ones. I mean, you know, the cream's always rising to the top. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta freaking love them. And then uh, everybody's talking to the ma'am, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Pendragon says, awesome. Uh, George Aiken says, oh, another toy line. Yeah, another toy line. Uh -huh, another one. Uh, Big Bacon himself, Patrick, is here. Thanks for being here, Patrick. So, yeah, man. So I'm super excited for – I'm excited for all of it. So we got all the awesome Eagle Force stuff. We got Operation Recall, Skeletron, Strike Force Alpha everything all of it it's just like it's such a great time to just give me give me give me give me give me i, I freaking love it all man yeah dad and i are it referring is. to this era as our toy renaissance period 100 mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah. absolutely all the lines are coming back in their glory but outside of the hands of the corporate chills that killed them originally <laughs> oh god i know i know Preach, um, brother. oh yeah look at that mikey you were talking about this at the beginning of the stream. Who's this guy? Duh. This is the uh, Spence Nats Trooper. <laughs> Duh. Duh, uh, comrade. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a Spence Nats Trooper. Um, this is this was the first one I got to do. Uh, got him just just in time to finish it up for for Joe for Joe Fest last year. And this mm -hmm. this this camo pattern was a doozy because i am going directly off of the paint master and then you just repeat the same you know yeah half an inch square of camo pattern all over the figure with curves and everything it 
it was a challenge. And then the you know straight lines on his undershirt. That's always fun. Oh yeah. That is so it's so perfect because uh we were talking about Strike Force Alpha and, and uh call sign longbow and operation recall on one of the streams, and we were talking about this figure specifically uh for longbow, and, and somebody asked me about the shirt, and I'm like, that's literally the shirt that they wear, like that's what it looks like. Yeah, dude, you killed it with this figure. Yeah, I you freaking can. love this guy. I love him. And then uh, hey, look. There you go. Hey, hey, the man's here. What's up, sir? Well, I, told, I told you you could have your dad jump in if he wanted to. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. You didn't tell him that, <laughs> Mikey. I got a question for you. Like, uh, how, sir? Could... I I told Mikey that you could come on the stream if you wanted to, and he failed to tell you. So ground him. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. how critical was your dad on 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 everything? Like, uh, mm -hmm. Mm. This was this was not a impress my father task. This was impress Troy. Ah, uh, this is his, what this I, is okay. his like, favorite of the of the of the line. I think, or at least one of them. Mm -hmm. And he was originally supposed to paint it. Uh, so when they were like, "We're going to have you paint it," I was like, "Whoa, whoa, are are you sure?" <laughs> and um, I it. did. I did good enough. I got the gig. So. Killed it, I did. Brother. I did right by. Uh, I hope I did right by. You know, Spetsnaz people that wore it. Maybe um, I did right by Troy, and that's, that's really all that mattered for this one. That's all that matters. <laughs> You're a go at this station, sir. That is a good looking figure, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's good looking. Um, oh yeah. See, uh, your your dad said he'll let it slide. Uh, cool, John, cool. sir. If you if you want in here, you can you can come on in. Hop I'd, on I'd in. love to have you. So yeah, come on in. If you want to come, just uh, throw it out in the chat and I'll shoot you the link. You want it, you got it. <laughs> and uh Photo Viper says, uh, Matthew, your custom work and paint skills have been an inspiration to me since like 2014. Thanks for all you do. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um it's not a quite thank you for your service. So it wasn't quite as awkward as it could have been. <laughs> Happy to serve. Happy to serve. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm here for I'm here for you. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you need. Power to the people. Yeah. I mean, you want me to shoot an 84 millimeter heat rocket at somebody? I'm here for you. <laughs> Whatever gotcha. you want. He's a people pleaser. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Close enclosure AT4. Sure. I'll fire that off for you. And Fine. um, let's see what else we got. What's okay. this, Matthew? Strike force alpha. Yeah. yeah, it is. You want to talk on these guys? Yeah. Um, I've actually been talking with Jason Shearmeyer here lately. Um, we ran into just some, I don't want to say issues, but we had like, we get um, some samples back and they weren't 100% where we wanted them. Like there was like a, an issue with the neck, you know, so we got the factory to, you know, revise that so everything's fully functional now and we're hoping now that he's put in the actual like order to for them to run production and go so mm -hmm. it's going to be we're hoping that we'll start uh fulfilling the backers before joe fest and we'll have a couple of exclusives at the show this year too as well oh so, man yeah. that'll be awesome that's what we're really shooting for um that'll be but, cool yeah yeah, so we're excited about it. This has been a long road, man. I mean, Mikey knows what it's like with yeah. with his dad and Troy, you know, working on their line. And it's, <clears throat> it, you, but the thing is, you don't want to just like rush it and get something out there that that the fans are not going to be one hundred percent, one hundred ten percent pleased with. Because we want all the joints to be right. We want all the accessories to fit in their hands. We want. You know, we want these to be solid. We don't want them to be like the repro kind of stuff that's out there. You know, this is legit, you know. Yeah. So we're a long road, but everybody's been great it, that backed us. They everyone's been patient. Mm -hmm. And um we're excited. Yeah, you're, hey, you're we're, welcome. What's that? I said you're welcome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're excited to say that we're, you know, close to the, you know, end of the race here, you know. We're getting Close to the finish line, so. Yeah, I was uh, I was recently reading that update about the neck joint and all that stuff. So yeah, it's, um, yeah. I I know you guys have been you've been you know kicking and punching the whole way, but I'm super excited to see you know what's coming. So 
Yes, definitely. Very, very cool. And um, real quick. So uh, Jim Largo from Largo's Lair is here. Thanks for being here, Jim. And uh, Mikey, your your dad sends this, which is super cool. He says, I'll let these two badasses have the spotlight tonight, but we will have to do a show soon. Uh, absolutely, sir. I would I would be honored. That'd be really cool. And uh, Mikey, your dad is a truly cool, genuine guy, man. I agree. When I, when I walked up and met your dad, so I was standing there talking to Ben uh, at Skeletron, and then I just started talking to your dad, and I'm like, oh, you're Mikey's dad. I'm Chad. And he's like, hey, how you doing? Like, your dad's just so cool, man. Totally cool. Yeah, yeah, really awesome. And uh JLS Comics is here, so thanks for being here, buddy. Um Justin's asking, are you guys working on wave two? Wave two Justin. on Strike Force Alpha? Or I don't know. I think that's what we're talking about. Justin, if you're talking about Strike Force Alpha, let us know. Or I don't know, maybe he's talking about Operation Recall or something. I don't know. As far as Strike Force Alpha goes, yes, we are working on wave two. So there we're always develop, developing, figuring out the best ways to optimize the, the molds, you know, for repaints and part swaps and creating new characters. So the library of parts we we have created here, we we feel like we will be able to get a lot of miles out of, you know, and still yeah. keep it fresh and interesting for collectors. Yeah, that's awesome. Hopefully. That's really cool. <laughs> Uh, yes, he was talking about Strike Force Alpha, but there you go, Justin. He said yes. So cool. Yeah. Very cool. Right on. Because we like stuff. We like stuff. Boy, do we. We like stuff around here. Mikey, talk to me about these guys. What you got? I, I think you you know about these guys. Yeah. I watch yeah, I Neon do. at night. You can't pull that on me. I know, <laughs> but we, we have people yeah. hanging out with us. Yeah. Um. So these have come out like after I've done like the figures that I really you know wanted to do the challenge was trying to come up with modern designs for classic figures mm -hmm. um so that's that's what i did and i mean this these have been over the last two years at least um now beachhead and leatherneck were were this week i'll, I'll admit that uh, but again they have been <laughs> built for over a year <laughs> um that's just that's knew... your shipwreck version two back there? yeah yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking sick. about one of my absolute favorite of the '90s. So and good. when I was a kid, I I loved that bazooka as goofy as he is. I loved him, so I was like, I gotta find Gone a way fishing. to make him new and dull his colors a little bit. He looks like yeah. an operator. I think it's so cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and there's just kind of like with you, there's been plenty of modern customs of '90s figures that I've made where I've kind of kind of dulled them down you know knock knock down the brightness a little bit and yeah i freaking love them man mm -hmm. i love them I, I think they're fantastic the designs are great it's, it's just the 90s you know they were keeping sure. up with what was you know i mean you gotta, and, you gotta um, make them pop off the shelf yeah exactly right so at the maximum competition right. and then uh johnny from simple tricks and nonsense so johnny and newt from simple tricks and nonsense are to costuming what you two are to action figures I don't know if you've ever seen any of their stuff. If you haven't, go check it out. He does a Manny faces where the faces actually turn in his costume. Oh, man. Yeah, and his merman that. is out of this world. He did a war duke that was, like, amazing. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I, I, I've had Johnny on my show several times. I've been on their show, and they're, they are freaking phenomenal people. But uh, Johnny says, so many cool three and three-quarter Kickstarters popping up. Joe fans have taken the property into their own hands. Yeah. I 100% agree that um, fans do the best work. And, uh, yeah, very cool. I just, I really wanted to highlight those figures because, dude, as soon as I saw that Gone Fish and Bazooka, I was like, yep. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> he was one of the first ones I did. And that, like I said, that leather neck had been built for so long and I had just been putting it off and putting it off. And wow. I thought, let's do it. Let's dull the colors. Let's see how it goes. Keep, Keep the bright blue, obviously. You know that's the yeah. that's the color yeah. pop. <laughs> right. Where did that, the hat that's... come from, Mikey? For that huh? leather. Neck? Where did the hat come from for that leather? Neck? Um, that's a Rage and Spoon cast of some uh -huh. hat. I just folded. I had to take a little material out, but I just folded the other end of it. I think it uh -huh. was for a Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I'll yeah, stick. with the one side folded up. Mm-hmm. I love the ones with the both sides folded. It looks awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it's totally, it's it's totally it, predator. I mean, cross country has got his got his flag on his back, and that was one of the yep. first like really small detail things that I had to do. Was yeah, you made it really small too. It's like a postage stamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. And um, what do we got here, gentlemen? Oh man, more <laughs> of ring insanity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory of, you know, a female survival expert and then Apollo Creed, man. So, this, it, you crank out some of the craziest stuff, but I love this Apollo Creed, you know, the Rocky Four, obviously, you know, the King of Sting, the Master Disaster, you know, do you have enough nicknames? He looks so good, man. He's so yes, he good. Does. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, and then uh, Justin says, "Matt, you're such a great artist. Could we get an A team homage in Strike Force Alpha?" Mm, wow, that's that's an interesting uh, idea. Who knows? I mean, we got to get through the first wave first. <laughs> but I'm open to all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I I just want to push the limits with O rings. Um, see what you know. It's always like. You look at it like when I was a kid, I wanted to have like a, a Mr. T O-ring figure, a, a yep. G.I. Joe style Mr. T. Just um, any character in popular pop culture, movies, video games, cartoons, whatever. I try to just make it, you know, test my limits and see how far I can push it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. That survivalist looks like they'd kick my ass. Uh, yeah, she probably would. She'd probably <laughs> probably rock you a little bit. And then uh, Pericles is singing the uh, James Brown song from the movie. Yeah. yeah. I love that yeah. song. Yeah. And then Justin said these are so cool. Uh, Danjamin, I don't know if you could take Apollo Creed, man. Mm. And then uh, Pendragon says he wanted Tron O-ring figures as a kid. Uh, yeah, that would have been awesome. Have them like translucent kind of and stuff. Yeah, it would have been crazy. That would be yeah. cool. Instead set of like on the... top of a light and let it let the lines light up. That yeah. would be sick. Yeah. So, because most of those Tron figures, they weren't even five POA; they were four POA. Because like Sark and the um, the troopers, they had those like molded where the head went into the neck mm -hmm. and then they, they were pretty much just translucent with like the white almost tampo on them for, mm -hmm. you know for their lines and they didn't really do yeah. it so. wow and then um make those matthew give us tron <laughs> <laughs> dude everybody's just like hey will you make this will you make that <laughs> like we came on here to talk about our stuff not to take <laughs> orders people are just reading matt's inbox <laughs> yeah, George Aiken. I want some red shadows O rings. Didn't um, Black Major do red shadow O rings? I think so. I thought so. Yeah, I'm pretty freaking sure. <laughs> yeah, Black Major did red. I mean, Black Major does everything. Yeah, yeah. I just like, mm, what color do I want to make a battle android trooper today? Right. <laughs> yeah. Have I done a purple and green snake eyes? What if we did that? Mm. So. Do, do you guys remember last year at Joe Fest the Night Force Snake Eyes? Yeah, yeah. With the translucent timber that was like a hollow projection of timber. You're know. talking about an O-ring style, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I didn't know about the translucent timber. Yeah, yeah. But... It came with the translucent timber, but I was like, I was looking at the Night Force Snake Eyes, and I had to ask the guy who had it, and I was like. Explain to me Night Force Snake Eyes, because he's all black with maybe some gray deco, you know, depending on the version. And I'm like, yeah. what, what the frig is a Night Force Snake Eyes? And he's yeah. like, well, he's actually this, and Timber's dead. And, and I was like, oh, okay, so there's like a whole backstory to it. That's uh -huh. cool. And uh, Chris from Cutthroat Comics is late again. That's okay, Chris. We appreciate it. I was late, all, Chris. For yeah, uh, Matthew was late. He was late to his own freaking party. So, um, yeah. And then Photo Viper says, I'm always down for more translucent figures. Right on. You guys a fan of translucent? I know some people will say that, like, the big ones are translucent, glow in the dark, and vac metalized. Like, those are like the big yeah. three. I love all of those. 
yeah. gimmies. Yeah. I don't mind any of that. In fact, I mean, if if somebody was a translucent and their camo, like a predator camo, was translucent, mm-hmm. that makes sense to me. I'm good with it. Send it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Full send. Give me that <laughs> camouflage, baby. I'll take it. Yeah. Um. And then Justin is asking, how much collaboration is there between Scorched Earth, Operation Recall, Call Sign Longbow, if any? That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, okay, so we said Scorched Earth, Operation oh. Recall. What is it? Uh, and Call Sign Longbow, if there's any collaboration between mm-hmm. the three. Well, I'm, I'm definitely buddies with the Longbow guys. So... Um, I helped. I know that Longbow is collaborated with the the Robo Skull or uh, Skeletron, right? Yep. Yeah. And I, I painted one of their uh, is it Red Wolf I painted him. Retro Wolf, yeah. 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 Retro Wolf, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Which we're gonna show. And then the Scorched Earth thing is what I used to call my little production, whatever you want to call it, customizer name yep. and uh so scorched earth is really me and jason now but yes we are friends with carson and i help with a little bit of operation recall pain masters yep there you go sorry about the long answer there but i was just having to and there was definitely collaboration just in the timing of introducing everything because everybody's yep. friends in this and nobody wanted to step on anybody's toes exactly yeah, was that, yeah. i mean everybody that was, was coming off of that vietnam kickstarter and you know took mm-hmm. all the money out of my wallet and they were like, okay, oh. all right, well, so when are we doing ours? When are they doing theirs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and now I've got credit card debt. So that's cool. <laughs> Chrome plated credit card debt. I threw so much money at so many things last year. So the nom Kickstarter, Skeletron, you know, <laughs> recall alpha Eagle force, all those pre-orders. Um, Action figure adventure season two. I was just like, go take all my money. Like I was just <laughs> chucking money at everybody and everything. And you know what? I loved it. Last year was so great. It was <clears throat> so, so great. And then uh, real quick, I got to say uh, good night to George Aiken because he's all the way in the UK and he's got to go to work. So good night, George. Thanks good for night, coming. George. Uh, Pendragon says, I've been a huge fan of translucent since early 80s micronauts. Time traveler. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Those are cool. Um, and then also says, I can tell you there is some collaboration between Recall and Longbow at a high level. Yeah. And then uh, John, the man himself, says, Jason and I worked on a project before Scorched Earth, and one of those figures became um, a, a Scorched Earth. Oh, yeah. Scorched Earth. Yeah, Scorched Earth. Figure. Not Snake Eyes. <laughs> yeah, they worked on the Infiltrator together which is the character with the reptile face, like, you know, and human yeah. on the other side. Yeah. yeah. So John. And then, uh, yeah. And then John says that Carson uses grindstone buck. Oh yeah. 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 yeah that's go. right. Yeah. Grindstone. That is true. He was talking about that. Um, Photo Viper says Matthew's dioramas are top notch also. Yep. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. All Matt does is top notch. <laughs> Let's just put it right there on the table. It's you too. You too. Don't don't be humble. Get out of here. With that. <laughs> and then Zazel said, "Damn, they look good." Damn, that's not that's Damn. nice stuff. Yep. Um, use the buckets of baseline. Develop six variants, including our rings. Oh, okay, cool. So we're all we're all caught up here. So cool. Uh, we're gonna move on from the King of Sting. And um, what's up with these guys, Mikey? So this Range Viper. I know that you you put a lot into that head sculpt, yeah? I did. It took some time. I am yeah. I am not a sculptor by trade. You understand? But well, you don't CIO suck things, at it. So I don't. You know, I don't. Uh, I have I have some training. Um, but yeah, he 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 took a fair amount of of customizing. A lot of a lot of sculpting and a couple of different ways, and yeah, I time consuming for sure <laughs> you didn't like the modern version no no i didn't Mm-mm. and i've never liked the brain texture on the back of the helmet so that was gone yeah yeah i i do like the fact that you kind of deleted that yeah i i will say that 
99.9% of all of this is modern figures, right? But there are some modern articulation G.I. Joe figures that are very low rent and very um, just crank them out, kit bash. Not, not the greatest, especially when you get in those last two years of the figure subscription service. It's literally like take that person's load bearing vest and throw it on this figure and call them that. And it, it's, it's that same cross harness one that you put on one of those customs in the last shot of yours that we showed that the one that's on your dusty, that one is on like every single figure subscription to this one right here. Um, oh shit. It was really far back. <laughs> what did I do? We've I been broke talking it. for a minute. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, right here. The one on this dusty dusty. Yeah. The one that she's the machete. Kind yeah. Of yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That one, that is paratrooper Flint in my, in my book. He just doesn't have the wacky hat. Um, but yeah, oh, it is okay. I thought it was the, the dusty crap out yeah. of that. Yeah, I haven't done dusty that, yet. He's 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 that's he's freaking got... yeah. That load bearing vest is on so many of the figure subscription service figures, and it's not but. it's not that great. <clears throat> uh, and I'll then tell you what is great? Those uh Python patrol stripes right there are great. <laughs> that is a yeah, wow. job, brother. You want to yeah. talk about some time-consuming yeah. stuff right there. And <laughs> painting straight lines on a non-flat surface is a B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a true beast right there. But, but uh, so worth it. The out, you the, the, you the, kill the, it. The product the outcome is so right. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Chris from Cutthroat was asking the one on the left is Python Patrol. And yes, because we were just talking about that. But yeah. Yeah. So that version, yeah. that... that um, it's like the set they released for the, the 2018, the Chattanooga show. Yeah. Um, you know, we were, we were at that there. and yeah, and dad got that set and then, you know, the extras that came with it, but there was a lot of holes there that are not made out of that team. So over the last couple of years, I have filled those holes for him. So this Makes Viper sense. is his. Um, and you did the yeah, copper there's, there's head a, too. There's, yeah. Yeah. There's a copper head. There's an eels. There's, yeah. um, uh, I can't remember all the ones that I've done. Alley Viper, a bat. Mm -hmm. standard vi standard viper um yeah he's yeah that's tough man what do you think about that uh classified um python patrol battle android trooper mm. Mm. you know it's uh, a yeah. it's, yeah, it's available it's, i don't know <laughs> it's python patrol <laughs> it's yeah. yeah i don't know i don't know, I don't know. whatever yeah <laughs> Um, cool. And, um, hmm. Mr. LaCroix, what do you, what do you got for these guys? Those are the alpha troopers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm. Yeah. These are just more masters to show, you know, for the factory to, uh, replicate that. Um, hopefully they're doing that now, <laughs> but yeah, um, those are fun. Uh, pretty straightforward, you know, no, no fancy camo or anything on these guys. I love them, but uh, I think I like that it looks like they all wear a Lemmy, and that's it's hard to be more metal than a Lemmy. Yeah, Sick. yeah. I I love the verticality of that figure. You know the the way that you you break up his signature in a vertical sense instead of a horizontal. I forget. I love this figure, man. Like this is one of those things where um, dial it back a little and just let that design of the figure kind of shine. Yeah. And the way that you accent it, you know, with the the red and the the different grays and stuff, it just kills it. I, I love, love the segmented this center, like a like a snake's belly. That is yep. super super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're super tight. Very very cool. I, I think love, you could do so that. many kind of repaints with that as well. You know, you could yeah. really go to town on some different uh, repaints and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I I love them, man. They're amazing. I uh. I want them. I want. I want all this stuff. All right. What do you got here, Mikey? This is a little gung ho and Mercer. Um, the gung ho was uh, actually one of my first customs, and then I I went back last year and redid him completely. Um, but he's actually based on a figure that um, Dad had when I was a kid. We were we were big into the twelve inch GI Joes. Yeah, and this this was this was based on a version that he made of a twelve inch one, 
I just did darker on the top and then a kind of a um like the the navy tiger stripe kind of appearance on the legs right yeah and then uh mercer he's a he's a combination of of both versions yeah um that's the second time i've sculpted a, a beard on that head dad has one and i have this one <laughs> Yeah, I was um, going to mention that, that you actually, like, you physically sculpted that beard. Yeah, yeah, I sculpted the beard on the uh, Matt LaCroix Mercer there. <laughs> and <laughs> well, I was wondering why I loved him so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old Matt Mercer, there he is. <laughs> yeah, there he is, spitting on scorpions in his spare time. That was Matt, like, three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when I met him, that's what he looked like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take years off my life, man. My kids. He had the metal arm and everything. I swear. Yeah. When we had dinner at the Chili's, it was so loud. <laughs> and he kept asking you to arm wrestle, and you're like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, I was like, "I'm not doing this with you, man." I just want to share an appetizer platter. Stop trying to arm wrestle me, dude. Just eat your Southwest egg roll and shut up, bro. Dude, remember last year when you and I finally, like, the whole weekend, I was like, "Bro, where are you?" And you were like, "I'm right over here," and I'm like, "No, you're not." And you're like. We just kept passing each other. And then when I finally saw you, I'm like, dude, where's Matt? And you were like, he's over there, but he looks different. <laughs> <laughs> he had the like the long, the long hair and everything. He was like, he was really, he's really good. Oh, it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Oh, shake it out. Panty yeah. pro. There he right is. There. there he is right oh, there. Oh, yeah. There he is. And you're like, yeah, he's he's over there at the booth. He looks like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's it. go. Let's Not go say it. hi. <laughs> You go, brother. <laughs> no, you look great. You look great, man. You My look great. Word. I freaking love it. Has Head and Shoulders reached out to you yet? <laughs> Panty, I goodness. got a couple of deals going with them right now. But, uh, very excellent. Cool. Yeah, very, excellent. Very cool. So, uh, Chris from Cutthroat Comics is asking, how long does it take to sculpt a custom figure? You guys, uh, how long does it take to sculpt? A custom yeah. figure that yeah, would all depend on how much uh extra parts are needed on it or if, it, if it's like a full sculpt i don't know mikey mikey could probably answer this i mean like for the beard or something how long did it take you to do the beard it's it's a a couple hours at least i mean you know sculpt sculpting it you know and, and depending on the thickness you've got to do multiple layers and you don't want to do enough where it's not going to harden underneath a beard, you don't have to worry about that. But say, for instance, my my Dragonski figure, that's layers and layers on on you know like on his belly and his chest or his legs. Oh yeah. But you know something something small like like a beard, that's probably that's probably a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Putting putting the lines in with the edge of an exacto chisel blade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then. Um... Samuel Edwards says, nice hair, Matt. I grew my hair back out during COVID. Long hair, don't care. There you go. Right on, brother. And Jim Largo says, uh, great color choices and design. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I always found that that Navy camouflage, especially now that it's not a tiger stripe, it's more of that digital camouflage, that universal camouflage pattern, but in naval colors. Mm -hmm. Why are you wearing colors that blend into the water when you're yeah, out don't you on the be water? Found? Should be wearing like be pink. <laughs> should be wearing pink. Somebody, somebody should bring that up to the Navy. They've obviously overlooked that. <laughs> well, all the branches have adopted our um, OCP pattern or the what they call the scorpion camouflage. All the branches have adopted that now, but I still don't like seeing the Air Force in my camouflage pattern. Mm. Mm. You're a bunch of fakers. I'm, I'm What's wrong with the Chair Force, man? Big fat Nothing. ponies. <laughs> <laughs> You're a phony. You're a phony. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> and then Justin asks, "Do you think you could update the Instagram account for Strike Force Alpha?" Oh, that says Instagram. That, hmm. That's something else. Oh, Instagram. yes, we could probably look into that. I know uh, Jason usually controls that account, but he's been so busy because that guy he's working on like several different lines. At the same time, you know, he's got like the Mego style figures, and then um, I think there's a 12 inch Super Joe he's doing. I mean, he's got the license for that. So, I yeah, that. I mean, Super he's Joe he but yeah, we'll we'll work on getting that updated for sure. As soon as we have some solid updates, we will. 
Cool. There you go, Justin. And uh, old Chad, because this Chad's got to stick together from Pendragon, says, I can't grow my hair long. I have a slender neck, and long hair makes me look like a mullet David Spade. Oh, man. Come on, man. Own it, dude. Yeah, now that you said it, you oh. can't not do it. I mean, we want to see it. We yeah, see, now, see now, it. We, now we got to see it, dude. And then Samuel says a uh, chair force doesn't need camouflage. Ah, uh, he's right. Well, I mean, it would look like wood paneling, right? That's what it would. Yeah. Look like, I mean, I, I live on air force bases. I, I won't like I'm career army infantry, but we live on an air force base. So mm -hmm. not only are we like the meanest mother effers around and they know it, but um, they have nice houses. So they also have I'm down with stuff. That. Best chow hall too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Their, uh, their exchanges and commissaries are much nicer. And then uh, Johnny from Simple Tricks is asking, what material do you use for sculpting? Epoxy sculpt, uh, freeform air, green stuff? I use green stuff as well. Yeah, I use green stuff. Same Z's. All right. Uh, green stuff times three, Johnny. Big fan of that stuff, man. Big yeah, fan. love it. Super easy to work with. Mm -hmm. yep. It's not like Milliput where you've got to like go grind it off of your fingertips after either. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're like, somebody so sticky. Yeah. My word. <laughs> yeah. I remember God somebody Almighty. said sculpting with Milliput is like taking monkey poop and trying to make something. I'm like, wow. That's to me, yeah. it's like um it's it's like um a tangible super glue almost because it's just like blah 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 and it's just coming away and I'm like oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if you don't keep your fingertips wet, it's it, you're you're gonna you're gonna lose your finger you're you're gonna lose your fingerprints. I mean, they're just gonna wash mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Brutal. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, plastic cement as well. I use a lot of that, but that's that's on my vehicles and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. What do we got here, Matthew? Okay, there there's the skull guard, which um, yeah. you know that's I so talked cool. about. There's a possible. Uh, exclusive coming to joe fest that we're working right. pushing to get and yep. our idea was take this as a repaint but in the firefly kind of urban camo you know what i mean so uh yeah. and he would be like uh we'd have an alternate head with him and everything but um yeah i love that sculpt i actually sculpted that um i did the That's head awesome. i did did all the the you know the holster the knee pads the boots the you know show um wrist guards bandolier all of it is basically my sculpt so that one if you want to go back to the question how long does it take you to sculpt something yeah it took me let's say like two weeks because you know going back and focusing on a certain area and getting approval from Jason and things like that. So. Yeah. 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 I got to say the first time I saw this figure, I was like, that's mega death. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like I love this figure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. He, he's, he's totally awesome. If you, if you do have that exclusive, I will definitely come snatch that up for sure. For sure, for sure. And uh, I'm not much of an O-ring guy, but, y you know, I, I love all you guys and, and your passion and Carson, too, and everybody else that, like, I, I still eat it up. You know, I, I still got to yeah. back it. So, uh, I, I back that stupid HasLab Sky Striker, and those figures are just sitting over here collecting dust on the shelf, and the cards are all beat up anyway. So, mm -hmm. damn shame. That ripcord is so cool. So cool. The rip The ripcord's cool, yeah. But, uh, it's, like, the, literally my... the only reason I considered getting it. I obviously yeah. I talked myself out of that. It's a little expensive for one figure. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah. It's um yeah, it's it's a good looking figure. But mm -hmm. most of my cards, card. most of my cards are all separated at the bottom. And a bunch of them are are kind of beat up and somehow they got punched. They but, did um, something really weird with those rivets too. Those rivets, if you notice, they're the heads of them are flat. You yeah. know, they're not using the same kind that they used to use. I don't know what they're doing, but it's kind of a odd. I don't think, I don't think they know. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they know. Maybe not. But they, they were probably like, these nerds will never notice. Uh, right. We'll notice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or they won't care. This, you is, know, this uh, is the wrong crowd to not notice small changes. <laughs> I don't know if, if either of you were seeing it, but a lot of people were getting Cobra Commanders with two left arms. Ooh. Were you guys tracking that? Dude. When, they, when they were opening their boxes, 
I thought that this uh, Knife Force Ripcord had two left arms because his right arm is like hyper extended. And I was like, no, it's two left arms. But then I saw the thumb and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. But his arm is really like pushed out. out. Dang. But uh, yeah, I only opened one of mine. And last time I had Carson on, he was like, open the other one because if it's missing parts, like they'll replace it. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to. So it's like, yeah. it's sealed. Yeah. Like you get what you get. I didn't open mine either, but I need to check my Coco, see if he's got two left arms. Uh, yeah, I, I got two. I left one sealed in that shipper box. The other one I opened. Um, I took the figures out. I kind of inspected them on their cards. I just set them off to the side, and then the the fucking Sky Strikers up there doing something, whatever. But How do you I didn't really the last the of them. I didn't even take them out of the yeah. little plastic right. paper bag that they're in i, I just kind of open everything up and i'm like yeah there's the there's a the blast effects there's the missiles because some people were opening their boxes and they had no missiles oh and then other people had like two left wings no seats <laughs> it's just yeah it's kind of weird but wow i don't Good job on the qc i bought it because i wanted to see 118 scale joe continue and i, I was you know, I got suckered into that whole mindset, like, oh, if I don't get it, they won't make any more 118 scale Joe stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I already have enough Sky Strikers. So I, when they showed up, I was like, cool. And I just put them aside. So whatever. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably gift one as a Christmas present or something. Well, we'll see. Anyway, um, so we're going to move on. And um, there's your leather neck. There he is. And all yeah. of his giraffe pants glory. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Look at that mustache. Man. Yeah. That was She's a beautiful thick. mustache right there. Thick oh. mustache. Thick. I still like the hat a lot. His cover. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I I found I Lord knows when I acquired that from Paul. It was just, you know, just in the in the bin and I thought, oh, that's the one. Yeah. Because I had obviously different plans for uh, Pathfinder there. Yeah. It's you know it's always awesome when you're when you're working on something and you, you just kind of put it off to the side until it organically comes together and you find a part like that and you're like that's it that's the one part I needed and now I'm gonna just bang it out yeah that's what she said bang it up bang um, it out and then Wilhelm Tolling Hobby says uh, hi Chad panel and chat I'm a huge fan of Lacroix toys amazing work on these you guys great discussion looking forward to Joe Fest very cool. Oh. Thank Thank you. Go, Wilhelm. Yeah. And then a photo viper says skull guard reminds me of a headhunter stormtrooper. Heavy inspiration. Yeah. 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 Can see that. Did you see that sweet men on card one that I scored? That's the headhunter. Yeah. I didn't see that. I scored one mint on card. He's like sitting over here on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, and then cutthroat says Megadeth rocks. And then here's a question right here. What tips can you give to someone who wants to start customizing figures? That's a good question. We're gonna we're gonna pause there. Yeah. Mm. Let's um let's let's talk about that for a second. I'm gonna grab that hand on stormtrooper. All right. You wanna start, Mikey? Or sure, sure. Um <clears throat> I would say there you go, man. <clears throat> I would say one of my biggest tips would be to start buying some some cheap ones whatever whatever you're doing if it's o-ring which you know obviously cheap is you know not really there anymore but whatever it is start buying some cheap ones like this morning on facebook i saw some guy had a bunch of ones that were eight bucks ten bucks twelve bucks start Buy buying them up hey yeah taking taking them apart putting some pieces together just try some stuff out mm -hmm. look at look at um I, I always look at um, Yojo or 3D Joe and try to get some inspiration and then try to look for pieces that I think could make that together. And then when I get them, you know, hope that they fit together. And if not, try something else. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. You might also want to tell them, like, prep your parts, you know, like lightly sand them, you know. And definitely Points, you want to yeah. use, I would say, I'd say you want to use acrylic for the most part, you know, doing yep. customs yeah. because of the Stay away from enamel on soft plastic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, I always find weird little tricks like, so when I apply stickers or even water slides, I always use like a pair of tweezers and a Q-tip 
I just kind of always do that because it allows me to grab it at certain angles or angle it certain ways where I know that it's centered, it's level and things like that. And then I just touch it with the Q-tip, pull them away, and then I can just wipe it with my thumb or hit it with the Q-tip or things like that. And like, these are all, it's just all trial and error stuff, but Mm -hmm. exactly what you were saying, Mikey, like, um, Justin, if you can find figure lots, and so like on eBay, you can find someone who's selling like a lot, not not a lot like a large quantity, but it's called a lot. So you just, yeah. you buy like a modern G.I. Figures. Joe lot, and it's like, yeah, 10, 15 figures. Maybe some of them are missing like hands or whatever, and it's just like just a bunch of beater figures, and you can you can take them apart. You can learn how to crack torsos. You can, you know, if they're O-rings, learn how to take them apart. Like Matthew was saying, like sand joints, places where paint's going to rub, how to thin your paints, how to apply them evenly. And it's just trial, error, trial, yeah, error, true. trial. I, I still know, can't do eyes. Plenty of, um, no eyes? <laughs> no, I can't do eyes. I don't do heads. I you don't just got to keep watching Matt's videos. I know. Just, but keep, I, just I, keep watching I, it, man. You know, I was I was getting pretty good at the toothpick method where I just do it black and then take the Q tip with the white and then I go on the sides. I was getting pretty good with that method. Yeah. But that's I the mostly way you do vehicles. Work, you know, I'm I'm the vehicle guy. So yeah, you true. are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, I'm I mean, no matter guy. which way you go, the um thin thin coats. Use thin coats. Let it dry. Another yeah. thin coat. And that goes back to the the thinning of the paints i am terrible about it i'm gonna i'm so impatient i'll have to redo stuff because it's way too thick you know i if i'm not struggling i think it's gonna be a a poor outcome so that's just what i do just struggle you know i got a question for you mikey so when you were talking about that leather neck and you said that you kind of started over on him did you delete him like how far down did you go when you started over when i started oh on that gung-ho Oh, Gung Ho. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at Leatherneck. Yeah, Gung Ho. Um, yeah, so Gung Ho, um, it was really just like, yeah, it was yes. pretty much a right down to plastic and repaint everything. Because <laughs> I've, I've now acquired a decent, a decent uh, mix of flesh tones, and I did not have that before, so we still had, it's, it's a 50th bazooka upper, well, it's 50th bazooka whole body. Right. <clears throat> So that 50th bazooka is about as pale as you can get before becoming translucent. Um, so, yeah, so it was, it was full, full paint, redoing eyes, you know, doing the, doing the camo. I was back to, back to a blue that I liked and then build it up in layers. Which one of you was it that talked about the flesh colored sticks? Like scraping off the flesh colored from like oh. the, of, of pastels yeah pastels that's what it was was that you yeah. mikey yeah that's me yeah 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 yeah. yeah that's um, that's how i that's kind of how i was doing washes before before i was doing washes so i would use more of a dry brush with a dust essentially hmm. um but yeah it's just just pastels that i got at, uh, at michael's or hobby lobby or something and um there you go so you just you just take take one out, whatever whatever you're trying to uh, enhance. You know, if it's I did it on um, one of the Arctic Troopers, I did a white and then dusted it on them, so there'd be like a little snow settling in the seams and stuff like that. But yeah, you just just run your run your scalpel or your blade over it a little bit, get a little dust and then a nice dry brush, and just kind of work it into the seams. And it's going to work two ways. One, it's going to put it's going to put some shavings in there if you do it real light, and two it's a pastel it's a dry pastel but that's also going to work like you would be rubbing a pencil on the paint so it's going to shade it that way as well right yeah that's that's one of the things that i always had a challenge with when i first started off was when to dry brush when to wash and then also the shades of both like do i want to go lighter do i want to go darker and then what what kind of effect does it have on the overall like aesthetic of the figure or the vehicle or whatever, because like some vehicles, um, all wash, you know, uh, tracks or, you know, mechanisms or wheel wells and things like that. And I'll wash those out and then I'll go back and dry brush them in it. Layer, 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 layer. Yeah. It works. 
And then uh, Photo Viper says, uh, Citadel paints are great, but I hate the pots they come in. I hate when the paint dries around the ring of the pot. That is a huge pain in my ass. Yeah, that's that, that's that like, you're opening a grenade and you're like, ah, man. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's... And then you're in there with, a, with, with, a, with something pointy trying to pry out the dead paint. Yeah, it's... Without letting it go down inside. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. like that, uh, the crust on your mustard. You know, don't go down in the bottle. <laughs> Uh, for sure. Photo Viper. Photo Viper said, "I had great results with Army Painters paints for figures and minis, and Rattle Can for vehicles." Um, I don't know about you guys with vehicles. Um, I I shoot all my vehicles with Rattle Can. I spray paint them all. That's what I do. But... Yeah, I I have only worked with one one vehicle. It's a it's an A10, and I Rattle Canned it white. Um, but yeah, that's. With, I mean, I remember when I was when I was a little kid and dad and I would work with customs, you know, O-ring stuff mm -hmm. and we'd get our builds together and we tape each piece, you know, onto a piece of cardboard. And then we went out and the base coat was always rattle can. But that was hard plastic and you could, yeah. you could get away with it. The mm -hmm. soft plastic, I just mm -mm. it just doesn't work well with the rattle can. The mist is not fine enough for the small scale. Yeah. Um you know, speaking of your your figure that you kind of deleted down, your gung ho. So I took one of those Buzz Lightyear XL15 fighters, and I I cheated up Night Force, and then I did my my Buzz Lightyear fighter video. When that video was over, I deleted that fighter all the way down. I stripped all that paint off. I wasted those Night Force stickers. I just I just peeled them off and chucked them all in the trash. And I deleted that thing all the way back down to the base color, and then I made it um, Quietus from Transformers. Oh, cool! So I just completely redid it in like those purples and the metallics. And so. how'd you how'd uh, you do the paint removal? Was it did you sand it off, or did you soak it in pine saw, or what would you do? Goo gone. Go goo gone. Gosh. I love goo gone. That stuff. <laughs> goo gone on Q-tips. Oh, I yeah. can clean anything up. <laughs> I can clean anything. So I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, sure. Oh, yeah. And then Pendragon cracked a joke and said, if you are if you make a mistake while you're painting, just control Z. No. No, that doesn't. No. Mm -mm. Anyway. Cool. We're going to move on. So, uh, Ooh, hey, look at that. Let's Matthew. talk about this guy, Matthew. I, I love this guy look, here. Look at that figure. That thing, like... It's beautiful, like lipstick. Look at that guy. He's so awesome. So this is the retro wolf trooper for Skeletron that you helped create, yes? Well, I painted it. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I did a thing. Yeah, I did a thing. the The most interesting and fun part about doing this guy was that skull and crossbones on his chest. Because that's freehand. It's not a decal or anything like that. Seriously? That's probably the most challenging kind of little logo I've ever painted. So that was fun. And yeah, when I, you know, Troy saw it and he's like, dude, yeah. he was, he was impressed. So I was, I was happy. You freehanded that? Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's it's awesome. It's super clean. I remember I, ha I had to do that on the, I can't remember if I did the uh, black major figure I did for dad, for my dad. Yeah. And that was painting those, that tiny scroll, skull and crossbones. Is it? Yeah. Mm, it's a bear. Mm -mm. I just go to toy hacks and I just get stickers and I get water slides from other companies and I'm like, got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I love doing the freehand <laughs> stuff because I do like a Jack Burton custom. Yes, I his know. Shirt, his shirt is all like this, you know, this ancient Chinese whatever wizard or whatever it is. And I just love doing that kind of stuff. It's like a, doing know. a little painting, you know, like a micro. That's painting. insane. <laughs> yeah, and then Photo Viper says, I love the 80s sci-fi style shoulder pads. Yeah. And this this sculpt is amazing. Um, yeah. Mikey, um, who sculpted this? Was it... Uh, um, was um, it Mark? Yes, Mark. Didn't Mark Mark O'Burn do this? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, that guy. That guy's an absolute talent. And, and, My word. You know, and when you you don't really appreciate the full sculpt until it's 
in your hands and you've got to paint it. You know what I'm saying, Mikey. I mean, I know exactly what you mean, man. You just catch all those little details. It's, it's sick, man. Yeah, it, it really is. It is a absolute he beauty. He really, thing. really thought it all the way through, you know. Yeah. I love it's, this helmet, man. That's gonna be so tough when when we get get one in hand and get to pop that helmet on him and stuff. Yeah. Really cool. And the, the retro wolf, this this retro wolf, the O ring version, it's it's a good mix of their new one and the original red wolf that comes with that Robo skull back there. And I, yeah, because look at, I mean, what they did with that helmet, it looks like a, a beast, you know? Yeah, like it's very feral like looking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks like a like a wolf snout. It is yeah. very cool. So yeah. tell me, I love it. This. It's yeah. kind of like what I would want to see wild weasels move into. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. That very like kind of predatory snout on the front of it. Yeah. That's totally freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, Mikey, your dad did say Mark did it. I was pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You were, you were there. You were, you were in the ballpark. You were, you were good. And then uh Pendragon says, I can't wait to see uh, you paint all those cadaver skull emblems on those operation recalls. That is and then, yeah, here's a question that Justin asked. What other toy lines do you collect? Um, I kind of got into those, uh, the Masters of the Universe um, origin figures just for, like, to customize them. Like, I made a Conan and things like that. I'm not, I don't really collect as much as I did. It's really weird because, like, now... Everything I get, I, you know, I do for other people. <laughs> it's, it's really wild. You know? Yeah. So, what about you, Mikey? Um, a lot. Marvel Legends. There's a lot of a lot of that yeah. going on back here. Mm -hmm. um, and then the DC stuff. As long as it's a a Green Lantern that I that I like, I guess. Um, I'll go for those. But I I don't. I don't collect as much as, as, as most. And Marvel legends, that's only been in the last like handful of months. <laughs> yeah. And I don't plan on going very far down that rabbit hole. That is a rabbit <laughs> hole too. Yeah. Cause you, <laughs> yes, cause then is. you got to go in both directions. Like you got to go way, way back and then you got to keep up with the future stuff. Yeah, forget it. Yeah. That's yep. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of anything outside 118 scale really at all. Um, I do have some Valiverse Action Force stuff. Uh, I have a couple of classified here and there. Like, I have a box Storm Shadow because it's Storm Shadow. Um, in a different room, though, so he doesn't get it. Yeah, get in, it in my fight. game room. In my game room, not in my Joe room, because it's, yeah, because then they will fight. Yeah, yeah. And then separation they, of church and state kind of thing. Exactly. And then there's a Baroness. Um, I did take one of the original Scarlets, and I customized her into Quarrel. So I did make a that Action Force Z Force quarrel, and I, I was pretty proud about that. But customizing a six inch figure, it's super easy. It's just like la 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 done, yeah. you know, because yeah. they're so big. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate some of the finer detail in the figures as I'm customizing them, but like I took I took the first wave Scarlet, and I actually made her Scarlet. I took the first wave Duke and I repainted him like Duke. And then I, right. I gave those away. I made the coral. I kept her. I made a jammer and I kept him, which is, you know, their version of stalker. And then, uh, I took a Cobra commander and I made a diorama of skulls and like an ammo crate and a, a Cobra flag. And I put, uh, the hooded Cobra commander head on him. And I, I repainted the whole thing. I washed him. I dry brushed him. Uh, I put it on like this really nice red base and I put a glass cloche over it and I gave that to my wife for Christmas one year. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't really do six inch stuff and, um, uh, Exo force masterpiece transformers and, um, all GI Joe and action force and yeah, obviously Eagle force and things like that, but yeah, I just all for a mask. Oh, and mask, big, yeah. You big guy on that. Yeah, but it's it's all uh four inch mask stuff. Mm. The the only the only original size mask figures that I have are these four right here. And they sit on the corner of my desk. 
That's a lot so, of space they take up. I never even yeah. saw the four inch mask figures, dude. Like no, no. I have, all I knew um, about was the one that 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 um was a Matt Tracker that that Hasbro did. But, well, they, so they made the specialist deal? tracker. They made specialist tracker, and then they did do Miles Mayhem. But they did him in a San Diego Comic Con exclusive set, and they called him General Mayhem. But it is still Miles Mayhem. Okay. But I I have custom four inch versions of Miles Mayhem and uh, Brad Turner. Okay. So, yeah. uh, here's my Brad Turner. But yeah. Here here's my Brad Turner right there. Oh, okay. Right. I it's just a flash nice. body, right? Uh huh. Countdown helmet, yeah, nice. So things like that, and then I I have um, I have Miles Mayhem over there, but that's because I I make the four inch mask vehicles, so I need the I need the figures. Oh, I have a Cliff Dagger too because I have uh, his vehicle. I do I do have a four inch Cliff Dagger. I forgot about. What's that. your favorite mask vehicle? I'm I'm sure you got a few, but Rhino or Switchblade? Those are the first two that I made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the switchblade was really fun to make. So like when I made both of them, I took, I, I took a, a Playmobil semi and then I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought, you know, Hey, shout out to Hobby Lobby. And I bought a, a Peterbilt model kit. And then I kind of kit bashed the model kit because I had to use the smokestacks for the guns and I had to use the bumper for the Ram and things like that. So I had to add to it. Then I greebled a bunch of, kind of future forward parts that I thought a GI Joe version of the Rhino would have. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of built all that. I, I took the Playmobil vehicle apart and I created the whole inside section. So like I made the chair, I made the computer console. I made the, the missile firing thing out of a, a tube of mints. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're one of those guys that can just look at pieces and bits and stuff and, that's that intrigues me, man. That's so cool. But that rhino took me two months. So it was very much like a I would get parts and I would kind of say, like, well, how could I do this? So I took I took one of the, the missile tips from the um Sergeant Slaughter's Warthog mm -hmm. and it fit right down in this mint tube. Nice. And so I, I painted the mint tube the same color of the vehicle and I got reproduction mass stickers and I, I painted the vehicle in that like weird triple candy kind of maroon color that the rhino was yeah and i i you know how it is right so when you paint a figure like you do that base coat and mm -hmm. i boop, i just based it out and then from there i just started building i added all the chrome pieces on it it didn't have windows so i had to put windows in and the way that i do that is i get the the can light gels from amazon and i just kind of cut them to fit mm -hmm. and then i sticky tack them in there and i put windows in my flag too oh tight so so yeah. I, I, I put the windows in the vehicle and then I would take all the weird little chrome accent pieces like the handrail and stuff from the Peterbilt kit. And mm -hmm. I would just kind of epoxy them on there and I just added, added, added. And then I, when it was all done, I just put stickers and hoses and poof, there it was. But yeah, it took about two months. So to put those little pieces on, you use like a two-part epoxy? Uh, the... No, I just, I use that plastic cement. Okay. Yeah. So I just I just plastic cement it, and generally I hold them with just like flat tweezers, and mm -hmm. I just kind of hold them in there, and then I let them go. And you know how it is. Like some stuff is like plastic cement, some part is epoxy, some part is like just super glue, and then other things is just glue gun. It just depends on like how sturdy does it need to be. But that battering ram is just kind of sitting. It's like floating under the frame of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. but I epoxy that thing on there so hard you could probably smack the front of it and it won't fall off but I I couldn't I couldn't build a spring loaded mechanism for it I tr I tried but I'm not I'm not that wow. that's intense right that, there that far, that. the most I do is magnets I do a lot with magnets too mm -hmm. so if I want to be able to take armaments off and switch them out like I'll, I'll I'll do the thing where I dremel it out and I'll just seat a magnet inside of it did you guys get that airwolf that. Since we're talking about oh, madness and stuff, I did not get that airwolf. I didn't either. I was just curious if you guys knew about it or if it was any good or anything like that. If it was, so I've heard mixed reviews on that thing. Kind of, I had heard that there was some kind of problem with the production of it hmm. just a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't really keep um, too much track of it. Uh, thanks for that, Chris. He said I'm a genius when it comes to custom vehicles. Yeah. 
I, I don't I don't really think so. I just I just like to build stuff, you know. To me, it's like what I do with vehicles is a little different than what you guys do with figures because you you guys kind of like you you breathe life into these figures and like when I build a vehicle, I'm just like square peg, square hole. I just I just kind of build something. I don't I don't really see it as the same thing. It's just like working with Legos. I I don't know like my mind sees it kind of in a weird way, but. Well, you breathe life into those vehicles, though, too. I, do I, I, I appreciate sure. it, man. That, that just became my thing because the three of us used to talk all the time about figures, figures, figures. And I can still make some figures because I, I made some of those um, Transformer Battle Android Troopers when I went and got those reaction figures and uh -huh. took them apart and built those bats out of them. But, um, yeah, vehicles, it just, it just seems a, a, a medium that kind of is more my speed. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know why so anyway yeah um there's your retro wolf trooper and i'm i'm super excited to see that guy yeah for sure yeah yeah and uh i think that brings us to the end of our slideshow and uh joe fest 2023 so obviously you both will be there yeah oh yeah and uh matthew where can everybody find you at joe fest i'm gonna be um i forgot what table i am but uh <laughs> I'll be Very there cool. with my buddy Adam Ant, and we'll be selling um, a lot of one-off customs that both of us do as artists. And um, we'll have like a couple little exclusive runs of some custom stuff. Plus, I'm hopefully going to have Strike Force stuff in hand. That's a big fingers crossed. Very, but, very cool. Yeah. Uh, and then Photo Viper said Retro Blasting just interviewed the Airwolf guy, which. I did, yeah. I was aware of that. It seems most of the issues got resolved, so I, I guess they're moving forward. Right on. And then uh, Zazel from Sergeant Slaughter Slaughterhouse says, "I look forward to catching up with you guys at Joe Fest." I want to meet He's you, a, man. For sure, for sure. Awesome dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Mikey, Mikey, where will everybody be able to find you at Joe Fest? Um, Everywhere. I'm, I'm gonna be a bit of a moving target. Um, I'll definitely yeah, spend some go time figure. in the in the longbow uh, booth. And they'll be over there, um, I think, not far, if maybe even the same location they were last year. <clears throat> Dad, yeah. can, Dad can confirm that. But he'll be over there um, with Marauders and Robo Skull, and then it should be uh, Call Sign Longbow, Flash Grindstone yep. should be there with some with some wicked hot samples. Some wicked oh, awesome. Freaking wicked, dude. It's wicked awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what um, that's what Ed had told me that that lineup that that like superstar lineup is still pretty much exactly the same. Which, that's what uh, I, I thought. I remember yeah. from that episode him to saying that. That was like my favorite eighty feet. <laughs> just like always coming back and coming back, and it was golden. It, I'll tell you what, like your dad, the Skeletron guys. Um, Marauder John, like just such genuine cool people, and even the Fresh yeah, Monkey Fiction guys, and they were all the way down on the other end. Like I didn't like where they were last year. Yeah, it seems like they got a not well. I mean, it was premium in that it was not close, you know, not far from the door, but I and it had know, a whole corner, a little island over there, yeah, against the wall. Yeah, and like I I first found them because I was going around. I, I forget the name of the booth, but I was going all the way around it. And then I was like, oh, here you guys are. Let, let me buy all your figures. But, yeah, and were they, they weren't, they were really close to Dime Novel Legends, right? Like not directly yes. across, but just a little bit on the other side of that. Aisle. Yeah, yeah, kind of catty cornerish. And then um, John draws in a crowd every time. I mean, yeah, you know, what, there wasn't no, you know, Valiverse line or nothing, but. There is people at that booth waiting to get their cowboys. Yeah. All day. Gimme, gimme. All and then uh, Samuel says, I look forward to meeting all you guys. Uh, Joe Fester bust. Hell yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Very cool. And then, uh, yeah, your dad did confirm grindstone longbow. Same as last year. So they'll be in that, that corner down there. Yeah. And then the Canucks here and says, Valicon will be freaking awesome this year. Yes, it will be. It'll be very cool. Well, Dude, gentlemen, we're, we're very close, man. It's only a couple months away. We're getting really close. No. Yeah, we are. Sure. We are super close. Please. It's um, what is it? It's, yeah, we're was it April, May, June. We're almost yeah, sixty days. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Crunch time Super for me close. and Matt. <laughs> yep. No doubt. Yeah, it, it kind of is for me, too, because I, I have to get a whole unit out the door, and then I have to go in the opposite direction. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. My my entire battalion is going to California to do um, an external evaluation that leads them up to deploying again in the next. <clears throat> I can't talk about it. Right. But I won't be going because I'm I'm in my transition period to retire. So um, while they go that way, I'm going that way. So I'm That's gonna better for your yeah. back. You're not, kidding. you're not you're not kidding. I'm I'm done. Your Twizzler bones are done, dude. Yeah, it's like hang up. The I don't pack, know if you bro. heard that. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's all I sound like these days. But very cool, guys. I I cannot thank you enough for hanging out with me. I love you both. Uh, you're both so talented and super awesome dudes. And I've known you guys for a long time. And I just I wanted us to talk and celebrate all the work that you guys do on these lines and, and just you know just freaking hang out before Joe Fest. Word. Yeah, Great to be here, thank man. you. Thank you for having us. You know, I mean, this is I uh, when you when you messaged me, I was like, this is going to be sick. I was so oh. excited. <laughs> yeah, well, so excited. you know, you you guys are masters of your craft and I, I love and respect you both very much. And um, I'm 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 glad that you came on and hung out with me. Anytime, you know what I mean? Anytime. Yeah. So. <laughs> Before we go, Matthew, where can everybody find you? Even though all your guys' links are in the descriptions, where can everybody find you? I'm on Instagram at LaCroix Toys. That's mm-hmm. the best place to find me. Very cool. And uh, Mikey? Groups and... Yeah, yeah, you are. Very active, you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, uh, so uh, Facebook, you can find me at JMK Designs. Um, Instagram is JMK underscore designs underscore customs or something like that. I have to check that. I just created that one. <clears throat> I thought uh, since all I share all is the pictures. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> Come look at some stuff, y'all. <laughs> do you do you like stuff? I like. Mm. <laughs> I like stuff. Very I like cool. painting stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And uh, again, I, I can't wait to see you guys again this year. And we'll all hang out, and it'll be fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Thank you, everybody in the chat, for hanging out with us. Thanks for all your awesome questions and uh, comments, and love to uh, both Mikey and Matthew. And uh, everybody, have a great night. Have a good one. Have an awesome day.